All right. Today is a review of the main linear algebra tools we'll need to solve systems of differential equations. And in particular, let's discuss eigenvalues and eigenvectors, because those will be very important. And let me motivate this a little bit. And for this, consider the matrix A, which is 1, 6, 5, 2, and the vector V, which is 1. And let's see what happens if we apply the matrix A to the vector V. So then AV, that is 1, 6, 5, 2, apply to 1, 1. And let me remind you how to multiply a matrix by a vector, or a vector by a matrix. Here you just do dot product. So it's 1 times 1 plus 6 times 1, and then 5 times 1, and then plus 2 times 1. And once the dust has settled, we end up getting 7, 7. And in particular here, notice the output 7, 7 isn't just a random vector, but precisely a multiple of the input. So in fact here, 7, 7 is a multiple of 1, 1, 7, 1, 1, which is really some number lambda, which is 7, and v, which is 1, 1. So where lambda is 7 and v is 1, 1. And if you have this situation where you apply a to a vector and you get a multiple of itself, that vector is called an eigenvector. And that multiple is called an eigenvalue. So let me summarize and define. If, again, the output is a multiple of the input, so if AV equals lambda V, then that, first of all, that number lambda is called an eigenvalue. An eigenvalue of A. Of A. And this vector V is called an eigenvector of A. An eigenvector of A of A corresponding to lambda. So eigenvectors always go with those numbers, eigenvalues. Now, what is this weird word, eigen? So it comes from German, which means self or proper. So someone who's very selfish, you call them eigensichtig, who only views themselves. Okay? But here you have to understand it's more important. So think important value and important vector. And in fact, there's a very nice geometric interpretation of this. Patient. Because if V is an eigenvector, this equation here says that both V and the output AV, they lie on the same line. So v, if V is an eigenvector, so both V and AV, Okay, just multiple of V, 
lie on the same line. Let me illustrate this. Line. Again, that's just the definition of being a multiple of V. Because if you have an eigenvector, say in this case we had V, we had V, which was 1, 1, and AV, which was 7, 7. seven, seven, then notice they do lie on the same line. So this is the case of eigenvector. But in general, if you just choose a random vector, they do not lie on the same line. Okay. So kind of stonks, not stonks, because if you chose the vector one, two, for instance, okay, maybe like this, v equals one, two, then you can check that av is somewhere completely different. So differently different because av would be 13, nine, for instance. And in particular, there is some kind of a resonance effect going on where you start with the vector one, one, and if it's an eigenvector, av just magnifies it. So one application would be a resonance effect. So at one resonance effect, as we can see here. But the main application I wanna to talk to you about actually, so this is a bit of a digression, but there's a beautiful interpretation of eigenvectors and eigenvalues in terms of music. Because if you play a musical instrument, think a drum or a guitar, then the eigenvalues are actually the frequencies of the musical instrument. So the sounds you hear. Eigenvalues lambda, lambda is just the sounds you hear, so frequencies, sounds you hear. And it turns out, so there's a theorem that, okay, if you play an instrument, there is a sequence of positive eigenvalues and the smallest one, that's what's called the principal harmonic. And who would have known that this is a music lesson all of a sudden? It's the smallest eigenvalue. That's the principal harmonic. Harmonic. Think like the main sound you hear. And the other eigenvalues there are called the overtones. Sounds like a cool name for a band, the overtones. So think you play a drum, you hear like boom. That sound, that's the principal harmonic. And all the other smaller sounds like boom, those are the overtones. And there's a very famous question posed by Mark Katz, very famous physicist, that says, can you hear the shape of a drum? The shape of a drum. And this is really, really cool. Drum. In other words, Suppose you're in one room and your friend plays a drum in the other room and you only hear the sounds of that drum. Can you tell me what the drum looks like? Can you tell me what the geometric shape of a drum is? 
Or in other words, once again, if you only hear, hear the eigenvalues, so the sounds, sounds of a drum, can you tell me what this geometric shape is? Tell me what it looks like. In other words, can you reconstruct the drum from the sounds? And think about it. Is the answer yes or no? The answer is yes. So it turns out in two dimensions, and if the instrument has no corners, the answer is yes. So yes, in 2D, if the instrument has no corners, so it's smooth, and also something called convexity. But it turns out no, if the instrument has corners. The instrument has corners. In fact, I want to show you a cool illustration of two instruments with different shapes that have the same sounds. Hopefully it works. So you see, we have those two things. I mean, it kind of looks like Texas a bit. Okay. So the left thing and the right thing, they of course they have different shapes, but they play the same sound. So this is, so in other words, it's false in general in two dimensions. What do you think in higher dimensions? So it turns out in higher dimensions, the answer is no, even if it's smooth. Dimensions. Even if smooth. And believe it or not, there is a 16 dimensional counterexample. Counterexample. In other words, it turns out there are two different 16 dimensional donuts that have the same sound. Who would have thought? But to be honest, I think it's kind of cool to listen to a 16 dimensional instrument. Kind of freaky. Last but not least, I do want to end this with a joke, an eigenvalue joke that my friend told me. What did the linear algebra motivational speaker tell their audience? If I can do it, then so can you. All right, thank you very much. <laughs>